We were talking earlier about your stock, and it is the best performer in the S&P 500 since the lows 10 years ago. I think the stock is up more than 7,500 percent over the course of time. Watched uh, what's been going on, but lately you've been getting a lot of uh, traction from the Kylie line. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what happened with that, why you have that partnership, and what it's actually meant for you? Happy to do that. First of all, I'm just thrilled to be here at one of our Ulta Beauty stores. This is where the magic happens each and every day. The interactions between our guests and our associates and online, of course. And, you know, beauty is just full of possibilities. You know, I think last quarter is a good example of how it all comes together from a physical and a digital and even an emotional and human perspective. Um, you asked about the Kylie Jenner launch. It was, it's been fantastic. You know, Kylie's been a great partner for us, and we launched uh, her line. We're the first brick and mortar point of distribution for Kylie, exclusive. And, uh, you know, we're thrilled with how the launch has gone. She's got a few Instagram followers, like 129 million. <laughs> so she's a great influencer. Um, but it's also a great, uh, there's many brands that did very well last quarter. Mm -hmm. I think the most important thing is it shows that, you know, for us, for beauty, it is important to be both in a physical environment where people can touch and feel and experience a brand as well as online. Let's talk about the retail picture overall, because it's been a rockier picture for sure. a lot of places. Uh, Ulta and Beauty have both uh, kind of stood out from all of that. Why do you think that is? Why, why has your industry and your stores, why have they been able to fend off what so many other retailers have struggled with? Well, I think last quarter is a great example. You know, we had great traffic to our stores, strong growth online, strong growth in our services business. And it really is because beauty, we think at Ultra Beauty, we bring it together in a way that nobody else does. And it's just as important to be a really great omnichannel and digital retailer as it is to create human and great experiences in stores where or our guests can touch and feel our products and importantly, interact with our associates who really love beauty. So uh, for us, it's really about both of those points. Uh, channels. And frankly, we are going to continue to invest in both as we look out into the future. Does that mean you think you're Amazon proof? Well, listen, I just like to play our offense. And for us, it really is about bringing together all things beauty all in one place. You know, we represent every major category of beauty, um, services, price points, all up and down the spectrum, brands that can't be found anywhere except for Ulta Beauty, as well as brands that are loved and known. So for us, that plus services are something that really differentiates, we think, Ulta Beauty from any competitor. Uh, Mary, Ulta is loved on the street right now. In fact, there were zero sell ratings on Wall Street even before you came out with your latest earnings report. What, what is it that you say to shareholders that you say to the analysts when you're talking to them? <laughs> well, it's all about the results. You know, there's no question. And I'm really proud about the results that we've been posting for many years now because it really is about bringing beauty to life and all of its great possibilities and inclusivity. It's also really about having an amazing associate team across the U.S. that really um, loves beauty, loves what they do, and makes our guests feel really welcome. And so for us, I think we look into the future and say, how do we continue to evolve our model and make sure that it's extremely relevant to our brand partners, that we're a great source for growth and a great place to work. And so I think for the analysts, it's like, that's all good. What have you delivered? And I think what we just delivered proves the case. Hey, Mary D, this might be a weird question, and it's not because of, it's, it's not about me, uh, but, but do you, will you get into fillers, sure. <laughs> and, will you get into fillers and, and some of the modern technology that, that might be, I don't know, you may need a physician to, to get involved or? Uh, I, I don't know what the, the beauty industry is going to look like in 10 years, but I figure, like everything else, uh, there's going to be incredible advances uh, uh, made. And uh, is, is, would that ever be part of, of, of your offerings, do you think? Rest, I don't know. I don't even know yeah, what to you know, say. listen, you're right. I think there's so much innovation that's happening each and every day in the beauty category. Skincare is a great example. Skincare is very much on trend right now, and it's really about the wellness of yeah. skin. Lasers, uh, less, you know, we stuff. don't really do the kind yeah. of procedures. Yeah, we don't do it, but that's certainly in the spectrum of things that are available to folks. For us, uh, you know, we sell products that people love that are really bringing their skin to life in a glowing and beautiful way, as well as cosmetics and fragrance and hair care and the whole gamut. So I need you're more right, innovation is going to continue. I need more than palliative things, uh, Mary. <laughs> I need to go to the, I go and sit in makeup. I'm sure I say, there's I places to, to get that. I don't need an artist, I need a surgeon. So, um, 
that's not <laughs> so. Well, I'll tell you, men's grooming is a is a really great booming category for us. It really is with the trends in beards and hair and skin care and even makeup for men. So there's a lot happening for men as well. I don't, Mary, I don't like needles <laughs> though in my forehead. You know what I mean? Have you tried that? Uh, oh, oh, huh? No. No. <laughs> no. No. I've thought about it, but no way. It's like no needles in the forehead. Sit still. Oh. Uh, Mary, let me just ask you, it sounds like you have uh, control of all the things that you can actually control, which leads me to the things that you can't control. Um, when you start looking at the economy, you have had the benefit, as everyone else has, of operating in a, in a, in a good economy in, and it, at times a booming economy. Are, what, what do you think would happen if the economy turned down? And, and have you seen any sign of it with some of the weaker retail sales numbers that we've been getting recently? Sure, Becky. We obviously are always constantly looking out and thinking about the health of the consumer. Right now, I would say clearly we feel the health of the consumer is quite strong. And we see that in many cases in retail. At Ulta Beauty, absolutely, we see that. One of the beauties of our model, I guess, is twofold. One is beauty is a category that is really important to us in our everyday lives, pretty much under any circumstances. But in our, in our stores, we have over 500 brands and we cover every price point from mass to prestige and so really we're able to flex our model to meet our guests in terms of whatever they want to spend.